Welcome to chapter 4, Simultaneous Equation. So the first part is about solving simultaneous equation involving quadratic x squared, y squared. So to solve this, first we have 2x minus 3y equal to 10, 4x squared plus y squared equal to 25 plus 2xy. So these two equations, first just make one of the equation it become your first equation. So I will make 2x minus 3y this to be my first equations. So let's try to make this in terms of one unknown. So what I try to say is to make 2x equal to 10 plus 3y and x will be then equal to 10 plus 3y divided 2. So this will be your number 1. Okay, then I will take this to be my number 2. Alright, then substitute 1 into 2. So your 2 is 4x squared plus y squared equal 25 plus 2xy. So your x is 10 plus 3y over 2. So just substitute into this 10 plus 3y over 2 square plus y square equal to 25 plus 2 times your x which is 10 plus 3y over 2 times y. Then square this part and times this part. So you know that this 2 times divide 2 you will get this. And for this part you will have to expand. So in this case 10 plus 3y, if I square it, I will get a 10 plus 3y over here. Over 2 square will give you a 4. Alright, plus y square equal to 25 plus bracket 10 plus 3y times y. Okay, so this part you can cut away, expand this equation. So you will get 100 plus 10 times 3 times 2, you will get 60y plus 3y squared, you will get 9y squared plus y squared equal to 25 plus 10y squared plus 3y squared. I'm sorry, this is 10y, so let's drop this off. Okay. Then bring everything to one side. So let's say I bring everything to the left hand side. I will have 9y squared plus y squared, you will get 10y squared minus 3y squared over here plus 60y minus 10y plus 100 minus 25 equal to 0. So this part will give you 7y squared plus 50y plus 75 equal to 0. In this case, you have to factorize to get the answer. 7y over here and y over here. And then try to get 50 from 75. Just times 15 and 5. So 15 over here, 5 over here. So plus and plus. This will give you 7y plus 15 equal to 0. This will give you y plus 5 equal to 0. From this, I know that 7y equal to negative 15. y will give me a negative 15 over 7. And this part will give me a y equal to negative 5. So this will give you the y answer. Then, you need to go to substitute this y into this equation to get the x. So to get x, let's say y equal to negative 15 over 7. To get x substitute in 10 plus 3 times 15 over 7 divide 2. By using calculator, you will get a x of 25 over 14. Alright, by using calculator. And from this case, y equal to negative 5 and substitute back into the equation of 1. 10 plus 3 times negative 5 over 2 
by using calculator this will give you a negative 5 over 2 so you will have two answer all right so every time when you do this try to write your final answer if at one side which is x equal to negative 5 over 2 then your y will be equal to negative 5 and your x will be equal to 35 over 14 then your y will then become your negative 15 over 7 so there will be two answer for y two answer for your x